a 100 watt automatic HF antenna tuner that will fit in your pocket. Let's take a look. I want to do a quick review today of this nifty little antenna tuner. It's the AT-100M antenna tuner sold, made by, distributed, whatever, by Antuner, A-N tuner. Uh, it's a little compact device, supposedly it will tune 100 watts. Uh, we'll see if we can test that out a bit today. But uh, real nifty, less than 100 bucks if you buy it off one of the, the big mail order uh, outlets like, like maybe Amazon, possibly Alibaba, Lazada, Shopee, <laughs> any of the Asian, Asian sales outlets. Has a, a lithium battery inside so it's, it's self-contained. You can charge it up with just a, 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 a C, USB-C power cord. And uh, I've run this for days and, and hasn't hasn't run out of power. So and when you buy this, it basically just comes with it comes with the tuner itself. It comes with a little hex key which I tape onto the bottom so I don't lose it, which I often do. And then a little USB-C charging cable, which but it doesn't come with the actual wall charger itself. You got to provide that yourself. But so a little bit of clarification when we go to the N Tuner website and look at the specs for the AT100M and the AT100M Pro, we see that the claimed 100 watt handling capability of this tuner is only from 1 to 18 megahertz. And from 18 megahertz to 30 megahertz, uh, its handling capability is 50 watts. The AT100M Pro is a little bit larger uh, it's a little bit beefier in its, its internal components, but we see that the power handling capability is basically the same as the AT100M standard. So the beefier components probably just handle a, a higher SWR. So the antenna tuner has multiple screens on it. Uh, this is the one that I, I sort of use as my home. It's got the forward power, your reflected power, and your SWR, which is really the, the you know the the factors you need to know in order to uh, have your your radio tuned to the antenna. So I'm at 7.1 megahertz, and if I tune up, I and it wants to do a reset because I already had it tuned. So I did reset, and now it'll tune again. And I get a 1.05, which is what I had before. So. Uh, and then when you key up, it'll it'll give you your your, your numbers there. When you go on to the next one. This is for manually setting your your tuner if you want. You can adjust the uh, I guess the inductors and such that are inside the box manually set them. I haven't even looked at doing that because I'll never use that. Uh, I just use the automatic feature. And this one, I'm not sure the value of this. This plots your SWR over time. But if your SWR, if the tuner is doing its job, that plot should never change. So if I key up, it is just giving me a flat line there at the bottom. And, and I guess the value would be is if your SWR starts going haywire, you'll, you'll, if you have this screen up, you'll at least know that something's wrong. But otherwise, I don't see a, a value with this one. And then there's a more CW trainer. This is a basic model. There's a pro version that has a jack in the back for you for plugging in a key in so you can do some, some practice. Uh, I, again, I, there, there's not much here that, uh, that I would find useful. Uh, there's, there's better, more CW trainers. And then this just gives you your SWR plot in uh, in a, a graph form as opposed to just a, a digital form. Uh, again, I, I find that my, my homepage gives me the data I need, but uh, this can be useful. And then we're back to the homepage, which... All right, you can configure some of the settings in this radio. You, you push the tune button and then power it on, and it will come up with the configuration screen and a single press of the button will move it to the next function. 
And it's got some good functions that you might want to play with here, like the beep on or off. Uh, a good one is the SWR threshold. The threshold, the SWR at which the tuner will automatically retune. It's set at one an SWR of 1.8 from the factory, but you might want to set that lower. That's, that's a little bit high for me. I'd prefer more like 1.5. You can also set the, the power of the radio. The factory default is 100 watts, but you can set it for like 10 watts if you're gonna be doing QRP work. So there's, there's some items in here that uh, might be of significance for you. So this is an NFED half wave. Uh, it's designed for 40, 20, 15, and 10. So I've, I've moved down here to 80 meters just to give this a shot. And so we'll see, we'll, we should be able to get the auto-tuning feature going on this. And we'll, we'll key up. All right, we got a SWR of 1.02 on 80 meters. And this is not cut for, this antenna is not cut for 80 meters. Okay, we've been testing this out on 10 watts. Let's crank it up and see on 80 meters, which is greatly mismatched. Let's, let's set it at 75. So that's 75 watts out. And we'll give it a shot here and see if it will hold. So if you can read that, this is uh, my vector analyzer and I have it hooked up to the antenna and I set it to the frequency 3.55, I think I was on the radio, it was actually 3.49 megahertz. And at that, the SWR is, is over seven to one. So that's not a bad, bad tuning. That would be more than what you would probably get out of the and the, the internal antenna tuner of a lot of the, the radios like the IC7300 or the FT991A, uh, the internal antenna tuners, which usually will only handle up to about three to one SWR. So what's my take on this compact little antenna tuner? I love it. And for mobile operating like on summits on the air, parks on the air. Jeez. Oh, Get out of there. The flora and fauna of the Philippines. Uh, yeah, so it's a great little a, a great little compact antenna tuner. The battery lasts a good good long time. I like I said, I've I've been working with it for days now. Now granted you know, it, it doesn't use a lot of power to actually do the tuning, but but still, it, it uh, will keep it charged for, for quite a while. And so I like it for less than 100 bucks. It's, it's actually not bad. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.